Greetings gentlemen and ladies, Old School Game Snob here. In today's video, I'm going to show you the quickest way that I have found to set up a local dedicated server that you can connect to for testing locally on your on your computer, testing your clients. Um, here's, it's just really easy. It's a couple of bat files, actually. I uh, spent days uh, trying to build a server from source, and I did actually do that, but you don't actually even need to do that. You can actually just create a little bat file to accomplish the purpose of testing. So here's how it looks. All right, so start things off by creating a new bat file. Just use Notepad or whatever, and, and uh, you can just, if you never created a bat file before, all you need to do is fire up Notepad, and when you save, rename the .txt to .bat. Then you've got your bat file, right? So I've got my couple of bat files here. One is for the server. I call it start server. One's for the client. I called it start client. And you can actually use this with a packaged client build as well. And I'll talk about that at the end of this video. But here's basically all you need to do. This is how to start your server. All right, so start things off by locating the Unreal Editor.exe. This is located in your Unreal Engine build. So for example, uh, let's see, I've got a few different versions going on here. I don't think you need a source build. If you do, you may need to check out a video for how to build Unreal uh, C++ project from source. That's what I'm using. I don't know if it's necessary or not. I'm pretty sure it's not necessary, but hey, if yours doesn't work, that could be why. Uh, but basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna locate your engine binaries win64 Unreal Editor.exe. Just replace this first path so that uh, it points to your uh, Unreal installation. Uh, so basically, right, engines, right, binaries, uh, Win64, and then locate Unreal Editor.exe. This might be UE4 Editor.exe if you're using an older version of Unreal, but it's basically the same thing. <clears throat> uh, next up, locate your project file, your game's project file. So in my case, it's Space Marine GMC. Uh, that's my U project file. So basically we're just putting in the path to that now, again in quotation marks. Here is the name of the map that I want to load. You don't need to put the path to it or anything like that. You just need to uh, type in the name of it. So for example, I've got my maps here. One's just called Mars. So I've just got the Mars uh, map loaded. Uh, dash server to say it's a server, dash log to be able to see the uh, kind of output log, and no Steam disables the Steam uh, client launcher. However that works, I'm not entirely sure, I'm just getting this all figured out. Uh, like I say in most of my video guys, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, don't listen to me, but this works pretty well. Um, so now I'm just going to double click my bat file, you can see my source is all started up, and it's just kind of going through the launch phase, and then this uh, little client terminal will kind of continue to run and to say what's going on in the server. All right, so phase two is setting up your client bat file. So basically it's exactly the same thing. You can copy and paste uh, all of this first part from your server, but now what we also need to do is get your, your computer's local IP address. So to do that, super easy, just go to command prompt, right? Start CMD and then type in ikeconfig and look for your IPv4 address here. So mine is 192.166.1. Alright, so I just punch that in right there. Uh, the other switches are dash game instead of dash server. We've got resolution 800 by 600. So when I start this up, it'll just be in a window that's 800, 600. You can full screen it with alt enter or whatever or change that around however you like. Um, don't know what that means, but that's another, th another thing you put in. Don't know what that means, but that's another thing you put in. Uh, dash log and again dash no steam. So let me show you what happens when I double click my bat file, my client bat file. Now as you can see it is kind of interfacing with the Unreal Editor. So this is not, I don't think, a standalone client version of it, but we can do that too and I'll show you in just a sec. So here I've got one player logged in and I'll just fire up another one to show you guys that this indeed works quite well, quite easy. And bum 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 bum. There we go. The second client is loading up. And as you can see, it is in the game of the first client. You can see the bottom left corner of the screen. Well, you, you, can, you, can, you can see that, right? There we go. Now you can see both clients in the game. Okay, so now let's say that you wanted to connect with your standalone client um, instead of using the Unreal Engine Editor, which I'm pretty sure this is kind of just like proxying through. It's not like a standalone build, you kind of have to have Unreal Engine installed, but what if you wanted to put this on another computer and play local locally uh, on your local area network? 
Um, here's how you would do that. Of course, you would package your project file first, and then once you've done that, let, whoa, once you've done that, um, head on over to your packaged project. So here's my packaged client. Uh, this uh, video won't talk about how to package a client because there's lots of videos on that, and I just want to make this one nice and short. But here's basically my package client, right? So if I want to actually connect to my currently running dedicated server, all you need to do, well, basically all you need to do is right click your executable, create a shortcut, <clears throat> and here's my shortcut right here. In your shortcut, all you're going to do is add in the same <clears throat> uh, connection. So uh, this is kind of the same as our bat file, right? Over here in our bat file, that's the, the command that launches the project. And then all we're going to do is we're going to add all this other stuff, right? So uh, right at the end, here is where it launches my gmc.exe. That's my, my project name file. And I've just basically pasted in all of this to right here. And that is now my standalone client. Uh, shortcut. So as you can see, this is my packaged version of the standalone client. I can actually use this, launch this, and connect to the same same uh, session that all these other clients are connected to. So your standalone client will work with your kind of your Unreal editor proxy clients. I'm not exactly sure the logistics of how all of those things work because I'm still learning, guys. But you can see that's a way to do it. So the next thing I'm trying to figure out is how to connect like a friend's computer or a remote computer in another another you know another city another town whatever to your kind of locally running clients so i'm going to try to figure that out basically i think it has something to do with pro probably configuring my router so that uh, my anyway i'll let you guys know in a future video when i figure out how to maybe like get your friends to connect to your locally running server for kind of test play purposes hope you guys have enjoyed this video this is about five days in progress to figure out this super simple version of this um, and uh, yeah this is not the version that you would use to upload to something like game left servers because you would need to package a dedicated server uh, for that sort of thing but for local testing and kind of locally hosted server dedicated servers this is a very easy way to get at that okay see you guys later